What is up, YouTube? It's Mac Tutorials 14 here, and we're back with another video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys Easter eggs found in, fi in the final version of iOS 7. Alright guys, so this was available in the betas, but I'm going to be showing you it does still work on the final version of iOS 7 that was released to the general public on September 18th, 2013. So if you're watching this, um, you know, some years later, then this won't make a difference to you. Maybe it still works on the previous iOS now. I'm not really sure. I'll probably make an updated video for that when it comes out. But anyhow, um, so the first Easter egg that I have for you guys today is actually an awesome one. Um, and that is to hide folders, or not hide folders, um, put folders inside of folders. Um, without a jailbreak required, which is something that has never been done before. It was done in the betas, um, but this is, it didn't work. I don't think it worked for iOS 6, I'm not sure, but, um, this is something new that I found, um, while I was on iOS 7. Let me know in the, comment be in the comments below if, um, you found this out too, but here's a little Easter egg, guys. So, um, to do this, what you have to do is you have to have two folders, um, if you only have one, it will not work, I'm just telling you that right now. So, two different folders, um, one comes, the one folder comes stock onto, um, you know, iOS, which is utilities, um, so you should probably already have that already, um, but if you don't have a folder, all you do, it's simple to make one, is you put your, um, iPhone in a wiggle mode and drag this right here, and as you can see, I just created a folder named photography, I can keep that, and bam, there we go, but I'm not going to, I'm going to drag, because I like this here. You can get it out there. Let's drag photos out. Okay. So, now, all you guys have to do is, you guys have to, first, you have to double press the home button. So, double tapping like you're moving into the app switcher. And then, while you're doing that, you want to um, tap on the folder that you want to put inside of the other folder. But you want to make sure that you, you do that so it looks like it's sort of in wiggle mode. And you should get this. Let me just um, do this real quick um, because I know you guys won't be able to see me, but I'm actually taking my case off, which is why nothing's going on right now. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Taking my case off so I can um, work better with the iOS. Okay. So my iPhone's out of the case. Um, and all we're going to do is we're going to double press and hold on to that. So as you can see, you should see um, when you're in the app switcher right now, you should see um, that the folder you tapped on, if you did it correctly, looks gray. So all you're going to do is tap back on the home screen, and it looks like it's gray. It looks like it's somewhat like stuck onto it. So all you're going to want to do is go into, not the, the folder that looks like it's gray, the other folder that you have, and all you're going to do is just press the home button. Now what that's going to do is it's just going to snap it onto the other folders. And as you can see, when I go out of this folder, I now have a folder inside of a folder, courtesy of this Easter egg. So that is it for this Easter egg, pretty much. you can. Um, this is pretty much unlimited, as you can see. Um, I would do it, but I'm not going to take the time to do it. Anyhow, um, so that is the first Easter egg. Alright, so... Now we have the second Easter egg, so this is where it gets pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to get out of this folder. Let's not create that folder. And so now we're done with the other one. So now this is the other folder with e this is the other folder. This is the other Easter egg, folder related Easter egg, I guess you can say. So the next Easter egg is, um, it's actually a pretty cool one. Um, you have to um, be precise with this though. You have to go to the App Store, and you actually have to download the official Starbucks app. So type in Starbucks. Um, it is free if you guys are, 
you know you guys don't want to spend money on apps it is free um all you are are you all your you know all you guys are going to need is your apple id which you should probably have set up already and then you can go in and install this um i'm thinking this i'm trying this on the 5 so it does work on the 5 um i'm thinking it will work on the 5s and the 5c if you try um but same thing for the 5S. Um, you, all you would do is put your fingerprint on. You put your finger on the home button on the home button if you have it set up for fingerprint recognition. And um, instead of typing in your information, it would just um, from the database. It would just get your information, put it in, and then you'd be set to go. So now here it is. I know. I, I know. I keep talking. I'm gonna stop talking. So once the Starbucks app is downloaded, you don't have to open it. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is um, you're going to have to put um, Starbucks in the wiggle mode. As you can see, it's in wiggle mode right now. And all you're going to have to do is you're going to have to queue a folder with Starbucks. So this could not be with any other app because the it does not work. Um, I don't know why Starbucks has, maybe it has a line of code that's, you know, unique. Um, but all you're going to do is queue a folder in with this app. And as you can see, there is no name. That is the that that is the um the what you call it that is the Easter egg. So um basically yeah guys. So as you can see um there is no name now. Uh, for people that know a lot about this stuff, um it does actually require you to have a name. Um which is why I'm saying no name because um I will put sorry that was Siri I didn't mean to do that. I will put my device in the wiggle mode again, and as you can see. Um, you can X that out, and then um, you can write whatever you want. But actually, it will not, in a normal folder, it will actually not let you not name the folder. As you can see, if I just hit done right here, it'll name it utilities again. Um, and there's no getting out of that. So that is a new um, little thing. And as you can see, I can actually, if I wanted to, I could still name that if I wanted to. So I could name it maybe... Uh, Useful apps. Let's do that. Useful apps. So now, as you can see, um, there is the folder is named. Um, and it says useful apps. Um, but I could just as easily go back and delete that. No, maybe not. Okay, so um, it does not. Once you put a name in there, um, it does not let you go back to the no name. Um, but when you see in a second, um, what it's actually going to do is, um, it'll, all you have to do, if you named it and you want it no named again, you just have to make a new folder. Just trying. I don't know why it's not working. So make a new folder, and of course, as you can see, there it is, and that is courtesy of an iOS 7 Easter egg. So that is it for right now. That is um, the Easter eggs I found in iOS 7 as of right now. Um, and also, I found a little um, weird thing. I'm not, ex I'm not exactly sure what I did, um, but it had to do with Instagram, and I was checking my Instagram feed. I was on it, and so all I did was I think I activated the app switcher, and I did something, and then all of a sudden, it just Instagram completely just disappeared. And it still was allowing me to because I could go on here and just search up Instagram and I could get it get it through like that. But I was not able to actually go on the, on the home screen and just tap into it like that. So um, I'm not sure if that's an Easter egg or what. I didn't actually see what happened. I double tapped and then I think I went into a different app and then double tapped again. And then I just sort of lost Instagram. So anyway, I just deleted the app and reinstalled it because um, it was hidden. Um, so I think um, if I figure out how to actually do that, I will make an Easter egg video for that. But that is part one of the Easter egg series on iOS 7. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is David from Mac Tutorials 14.